a very pleasant morning children so today we are going to continue exercise 3.1 starting with third one so the third question is what is the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex quadrilateral so they are asking us to find the sum of the measures of the angles of convex quadrilateral and will this property hold if the quadrilateral is not convex so we have to check the sum of the angle measures of both the convex quadrilateral and not convex not convex means concave so we have to check whether sum of the angles of the quadrilateral is going to be equal for both convex and concave quadrilateral or not so i am writing the solution please check the board carefully so to start with so the first case case 1 it is convex polygon or convex quadrilateral so we are going to check the sum of the angle measures of the convex quadrilateral okay so here is a convex quadrilateral i am going to name it as quadrilateral a b c and d okay quadrilateral a b c d now so we can observe that in the abc quadrilateral if we join the diagonal ac okay so using the line segment i am joining the vertices a and c so which gives us quadrilateral abc is divided into two triangles if you observe triangle acd and triangle abc okay in in quadrilateral abcd in quadrilateral abcd we have triangle abc and triangle acd okay by drawing a diagonal ac ac is dividing the quadrilateral abcd into two triangles namely abc and triangle acd now look what is the sum of the angles of a triangle by the angle sum property it is 180 degrees okay sum of the angles sum of the angles of triangle abc sum of the angles of triangle abc is equal to 180 degrees we all know this by the angle sum property of a triangle sum of the angles of any triangle will be equal to 180 degrees and sum of the angles of sum of the angles of triangle acd is equal to 180 degrees again okay therefore we have quadrilateral abcd is equal to quadrilateral abcd is equal to triangle abc plus triangle acd triangle abc plus triangle acd isn't it now now what is the sum of the angles of triangle abc it is 180 degrees plus 180 degrees so which makes the total 360 degrees therefore sum of the measures of sum of the angle measures of sum of the angle measures of 
क्वाड्रिलेटरल सम ऑफ द एंगल मेथड्स ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल ए बी सी डी विच इज ए कॉन्वेक्स क्वाड्रिलेटरल इज इट इट वी टूक ए बी सी डी एज ए कॉन्वेक्स क्वाड्रिलेटरल इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज ओके नाउ we have to check whether the same holds that means for the convex quadrilateral abcd we got the sum of the angle measures as 360 now we have to check whether the same thing holds for convex quadrilateral also okay since it is coming very light there so triangle abc plus triangle acd angle a c d okay so now let us move into the case two with a convex quadrilateral i mean concave quadrilateral so here i took a concave quadrilateral so 1 2 3 four sides so concave quadrilateral i am naming it as p q r yes okay so the quadrilateral pqrs is a concave quadrilateral so case 2 concave quadrilateral so that means we are going to check whether the sum of the angles or the angle measures of the concave quadrilateral is going to be 360 degrees or not okay just like the convex quadrilateral let us take a diagonal at qs okay i'm just drawing a triangle a diagonal now look so even this convex concave quadrilateral is divided into two triangles so angle p here angle q here angle s here also one angle here one angle here one more angle okay so let us name them angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so in triangle p q s okay this one triangle p q s angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees because angle sum property okay angle sum property now in triangle qrs in triangle q R S angle five plus angle six plus angle four is equal to one eighty degrees again. It is because of angle sum property. The same property because both are the triangles here. Angle sum property. Now, so using this, what we can say. in triangle in quadrilateral in quadrilateral p q r s angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees okay which gives us 360 degrees simply we can write this as angle p plus angle q plus angle r plus angle s okay instead of specifying all this because angle q is 2 plus 5 hope you are clear okay and angle s is 3 plus 4 so through this what we can say in convex 
therefore the sum of the angle measures of the sum of the angle measures of a concave quadrilateral a concave quadrilateral is also 360 degrees okay so for both convex and concave polygon the sum of the angle measures is going to be 360 degrees only so hope you are quite clear with this children so please copy this into your cw for today tomorrow we'll move ahead with fourth question and the hw for today i will send you a document so please make use of it this question is very much important children so try to keep this in mind that's all for today have a great day